Ah. Good morning, YouTube, kindred spirits. I'm back again, you know, um, sorry I didn't get all dolled up for you. That's just kind of, as you know, how I roll. It's just, you know, it's a mood thing, got to do it now, and that's just how it is. So, this is the real me, folks. All right, so, today, um, I'm going to do two videos today. One, um, first I'm going to do a tarot. So, if you're watching this, this obviously pertains to you, especially you, Mr. I won't say any names. I hope you're here. This is for you. So I'm going to do that, and it's going to be the long one, so I'll just go ahead. I haven't cleared the deck or any of that crap, so I'm going to have to do it, so you have to bear with me. And then the second video I'll do later after this is I'm going to do maybe a chapter two, I don't know, whole book, if I feel like it, uh, Remy's Roundup. I've been promising this for a while, and I've done like, oh, little bits here and there. But um, this is a great book. It really is. Not just because I illustrated it. Um, a good friend of mine wrote it. And I got, to the, I got the opportunity to illustrate it. It's kind of a lifetime dream of mine. And I hope to, that we can come out with a second one. But this is a great book. I mean, I think adults actually are digging this too. They should. It's about life. Period. Um, maybe from the animal's perspective, but aren't we all? So, that will be my second video today. And away we go. Okay. Get these two out. Now, again, I'm not going to do um, the signifier card uh, simply because if, let's say, we were doing a one-on-one. -on -one, then I might do the signifier card, in which case I'll either make you pick one out or some people like to go random or whatever. But since it's all of you and me, it kind of doesn't make sense to do that. All right, so clear the deck, seven days of the week. I'll try to make it fast. I do reversals as well. Um, in my universe, reversals are the extreme or hyperbole of the situation. So if you get a reversal, it's like time to like really check yourself. I'm trying to hurry. Wow, power is sure to come and run into you. Yeah, I know. I got serious earworms now. Thank you for that. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, Shiza. Okay, so now, clear the deck. I go in threes. Big fan of Fibonacci numbers. So I'm going to shuffle it three times. Damn, three times. Sorry, I look like crap today, guys. <laughs> What a drag it is getting old. Lee, 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 lee. I know, I'm not like other tarot readers, am I? I try not to be pretentious in my life. Just annoying. This is just me. Works for me. And a dose trace. There we go. And the cut the deck. If you were here, I'd make you cut it. All right, here we go. No signifier. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's never a good sign right off the bat, but, you know, it can mean a lot of things. Oh, damn it. There we go with the wands again. Damn it. Got a reversal. I hope you're paying attention to this. This is important, I think. Yep. And this really is pertaining to somebody in particular. Oh boy, I hope you're looking. Huh. Wow. Things have changed, haven't they? Okay, here we go. All right, so 
I'll just go over the whole thing just so, you know, those that are kind of new here kind of know what the hell I'm talking about. This is a Celtic crossbred, if that means anything to you. Like I said, no significant, I can't talk, no significant, you know, we're not doing the first card. Uh, number one is, uh, well, actually, it's number two. This card represents you in relation to the query or the question. I know someone else is injected into this story because we hadn't gotten this. <laughs> Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Number one. Now, there's no reversal on this because of the way it's laid out. Okay? Oh, yeah, there is. I'm thinking of the second card. So this was straight up, by the way. Are you seeing that? Yeah, it's that card. Okay, but don't freak out. Usually it just means change, but I'll read it to you. Which, duh. Aren't we all, right? What number is that? Sorry. All right, here we go. <sighs> I'm a little nervous today because I feel like somebody's watching. Everyone faces death in some guys. Here we are speaking of a psychological death rather than a physical death. Told you. In this card, the skull stares inex with inexor inexorable resolve. I can't talk today. The chilling message is if you want to move past this point, you have to pass through death. Why would anyone want to? What is the incentive? Death holds rewards on his banner and shield. The white flower symbolizes purity of desire and the white horse a purity of will. Anyone wanting to continue on their spiritual journey needs these. They indicate the death of the ego. I was going to say that. <sighs> Beaten to it. And with long-held beliefs that are no longer useful. This must happen to make a new... Uh, bleh, must happen to make a way for a new energy in life. The message of death is that the spiritual growth brings pain. Hi, I see you there. Okay, so anyway. It isn't easy to let go of certain behaviors or beliefs, to admit errors in thought, errors in thought and practice. And this is not to beat you up. We all have room to introspect and improve it's not an indictment at all, okay? Um, without negating the magnitude of the e ego death, the emblems of what is to come, greater spiritual strength remind us that the endeavor is not without its reward. See, I told you it wasn't that bad. But, God, if this isn't for you in particular, sir, I don't know what is. But it's for all of us that are paying attention. Otherwise, wouldn't have called you kindreds. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so the number three card, I know we just did one, but remember, I didn't do the signifier card that I couldn't say earlier. Okay. King of Wands. This one crosses you. Okay. So there is no reversal. It just isn't because you can't have one there. Um, King of Wands. And let me explain that to you real quick also in case you're new. It, it also, this card, it indicates the conflict. So that's why it's crossing you. Get it? Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. King of Wands. King of Wands. Oh, oh, my bad. We're doing it live, folks. No, I'm kidding. No, we are. It's live for me. Okay, so King of Wands. This is your crossing. This is what's... um in your way right now. A fully armored knight rides confidently and purposefully along. His stance and coloring indicate passion and bravery. He is well rested and ready to take adventure where he finds it. Your passion is moving you ahead very quickly. Whatever you are facing, you're very excited about it. Maybe deep down somewhere, painful as it may be. 
You feel no fear, although you are certainly feeling a heady adrenaline rush. Maybe this is me. I don't know. Uh, you are ready for a grand adventure. If one doesn't come to you, you will go out and find it. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's that. That's easy, easy peasy. Okay, so anyway, moving on. Number four is the foundation. This card will illustrate the basis of the problem or issue. This is the basis, the foundation. Page of Pentacles reversed. We get that a lot. Damn it. There we go. Okay. And, oh, I forgot to show you the other card. All right, well, just for reference, this is the King of Wands, and it was, you know, crossing, so no reversal. This one is the Page of Pentacles. This is the one we're on right now, and it is reversed, so, all right. A young man holds a pentacle. He appears almost bored. Although not adept at any means, he does have enough experience to start playing with his technique. He does not carefully hold a pentacle. Instead, he barely holds it, as if to see how little he needs to touch it, yet still keep it in place. Hmm. He is definitely ready for the next level. <clears throat> Seeing a theme here? Seeing a theme. Um, you are, you have been practicing something and are already quite good at it. Your studies are beginning to manifest into actual completed projects. You're ready to present your work to the outside world. Perhaps it's time to consider something more complicated and challenging. Um, <clears throat> be aware of coming careless. Although you do have skill, you lack the experience that allows one to perform almost mindlessly. Although, be careful of stagnation. Once you master this level, continue to challenge yourself and don't become lazy. That was the reversal. So don't. It's always about hyperbole if it's reversed. Um, the Page of Pentacles can indicate a message, usually pertaining to a project you've completed, finances, or resources. And often, Pentacles do have to do with money. Um, all right, here we go. This is where it's going to get interesting again. All right, so number five is the past. <sighs> Two of Cups, straight up. you think that means um, past here you will find significant influence from the past that shaped the current problem two of cups cups typically are about relationships straight up <laughs> okay you ready a blonde woman and a brunette man join under the shadowy light of the moon. This is the past. Their union creates a unique energy that is mystical and beautiful. I'm really sorry, dude. Shit happens, though. <clears throat> Just as the high priestess, Major Arcana II, joins the poetic music of the heavenly bodies with the scientific charting of astronomy, the blonde female and the brunette male signify opposing qualities. The result is as magical and intriguing as the high priestess. You are faced with the opportunity to partner with someone, whether it is a romantic union or a business venture, whichever it is, the potential for creating something very special is here. Honor the gift and the moment to enjoy it. Wow. Well, that I, I understand, and that really sucks. But that's the past now. I'm going to say, it does suck. Um, <clears throat> all right, so moving on, I'm going to get reclaimed. Stop it. Um, <clears throat> number six, um, present. So this is going on right now. Four pentacles reversed. Oops, you don't want to see that. There you go. Okay, and that's reversed. For review, present. The present forces affecting the situation. Yeah, obviously. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> A man in rich purple robes 
embroidered with gold grips, four pentacles in his arm. Gripping his pentacles. He has taken pleasure in achieving monetary worth. Well, good for you. But money is an abstraction. Yeah, I guess we know. But it pays the bills. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, anyway. But money is an abstraction, a representation for things necessary to life that give life beauty and pleasure. He has lost track of that, and so he stands alone in his cold pride, neither sharing his bounty nor even really enjoying it himself. He reflects in extreme major arcana six, the emperor. When the emperor provides order for the betterment of life all is well. When he imposes order for order's state, sake, my bad, life becomes sterile. You possess a certain amount of resources and you've become possessive of them. You're hoarding your money, your time, and your abilities. You've lost sight of what these things are for and you face a lonely, unfulfilled future unless you use your resources wisely. Card said it, not me. I'm, I don't know. Okay, so be aware, and this is, you know, kind of the reversal part. Be aware of the opposite extremes of giving away all you have so that you are depleted and have nothing left to offer. Lawyer up, bro. Okay, so, uh, number seven. <clears throat> Future Knight of Swords. Let me go back here. Future, here are the forces that will affect the outcome. Okay. Knight of Swords reversed. Here, let me show you. Can you see? And that is reversed. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Here is the quintessential, quintessential questing knight. He holds his energetic steed in check as he dramatically lifts his sword. He is ready for action. Since words are ruled by the intellect, it makes sense that his quest is overseen by an owl, a bird often associated with wisdom. He has turned his back on everything except his quarry. He is focused and committed. Nothing better get in his way. See, this is good. You are in the midst of something. You know exactly what you want to do and precisely how you're going to do it. You're very single-minded right now and your goal is in sight. Reversal. Be aware of being so focused that you miss new developments in the situation. Pay attention to what's going on around you. There's a danger of ignoring or being insensitive to those around you. Hmm. Be focused, but don't be a dick. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Well, good for you, all of us. All right, on we go. Number eight, <clears throat> yourself. But let me explain, especially those who are new. This is, okay, this card is your self-image, okay? Which may be different from the you in card two. Self-image does not always, always, reflect the inner you. Nine of Wands reversed. There we go. Um, whoop. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. This is all of us. <laughs> A tired soldier retreats from an insurmountable blockade. He's holding himself up. He's holding himself up by his will, represented by his wand alone. He did not expect this failure and is puzzled by his situation. I'll say no more. His experience did not reflect his expectations. The tiny scarab to his right indicates the quiet voice of his soul. Like the hermit <laughs> of Major Arcana 9, the warrior must retreat, retreat and regroup. He must compare what he believes to his worldly experience and reconcile them. You were caught by failures unawares. Things did not turn out as you planned and you aren't sure why. Take time to reflect and determine what happened and why. 
learn from this situation and resume the battle. Okay? This is where it's reversed. Beware of despair. While the situation is difficult and perhaps confusing, <laughs> wow, do not give up. Withdraw, heal, and learn not to escape life. Five cent psychiatry. <laughs> all righty, moving along. I love you, man. I hope you're all right. I know you will be. See, it says so right here. Okay, so number nine is the environment. This is how others see you in this situation. I wholly agree. Knight of, oh, sorry, Knight of Pentacles straight up. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> More than the other knights, this one is in a defensive posture. That's, I mean, I get it. You need to be probably right now. He has been through battles and adventures, is probably ready to rest a while. Although not in the middle of a battle, this knight is alert and diligent. He will always guard himself, whatever or whomever else needs protecting. <clears throat> you have fought some battles and enjoyed some adventures. Now you'd like to rest and regroup. Maybe spend some time enjoying quieter, more domestic scenes. Come to Colorado, she said, yo. <laughs> I don't write songs. That's the reason for that. <laughs> uh, anywho, I'm sorry. I digress. Um, Where'd I go? Oh, here we go. Take some time off and make yourself feel safe if necessary. You may need to adopt a, adopt a protective or defensive st stance. Okay? Uh, don't need to read the reversal because there is none. I agree with that 100%. Okay. Get out of the city for a minute. Might like it. Um, um, um. Okay, so we're almost done. Number 10, hopes and fears. Here is the uh, blah, blah, blah. Here's the card illustrating either what you most hope for or fear the most. Six of swords straight up. Easy. That swords. Fighting the battles. Okay, here we go. Um, by the light of a full moon, a woman makes her secret silent journey by water. Where is she traveling to and what does she leave behind? Does it matter? Will her destination change anything in her life? She brings with her the way she views the world, as shown by the swords in her boat. As the saying goes, wherever you go, there you are. Major Arcana 6, The Lovers, is about making balanced choices. By traveling over the water, her emotions, and carrying her same thought patterns, the swords, she's making a choice, but is it a sound one? The toad seems to indicate more of a reliance on the reptilian part of the brain from whence the flight impulses arises. You are running from something unless you examine the way you think. Your running will accomplish nothing except an immediate escape from what is troubling you. Until you learn to face it, you will come up again. It will come up again in some other guise. Hope you're behaving yourself. I'm sure you are. Okay, it was just a warning, I think. All right. Um, all right, last one. Outcome, the one you're waiting for. This card indicates the probable goal. This card indicates the probable outcome if all things remain as they are at the moment of the reading. Look at that pretty Palomino. He looks like a Thomason. My horsey. Six of Wands straight up. You see? Palominos are bitches. Typical blondes. <laughs> All right, six of wands. Oh, 
my bed. I think my dog wants back in. Okay, here we go. A man rides through a cheering crowd in colorful flags. See, isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's going to all work out. He enjoys a hero's welcome, celebrating a great victory. The lovers, Major Arcana 6, shows the glory and joy resulting from wise and balanced choices. This man's achievements can only be the result of such well-made decisions. You are in a position to receive outward congratulations for your actions. Oh, I just had a thought. I'll tell you later. <laughs> that would be so cool. Anywho. You are in a position to receive outward congratulations for your actions. You've done well and deserve to be recognized. Enjoy the accolades. No reversal. See, I told you it was going to be super duper. It's just sucky right now. Lawyer up. All your friends are here for you. And that's for all of us. That's that's great. That. That's really great reading. I feel good about that. And I like doing these two for my benefit because I can look back over it and, um, you know, study what I said <laughs> or what they said. Because when I'm reading it, I don't get it all at once any more than you do. So, anyway, um, hopefully this was helpful to you and yours. Um, like, share, subscribe. Oh, yeah, and I keep mentioning bits shoot. Um, I'm going to get a GoPro for sure in the next couple of weeks, and I'll start doing more horse rides and all the adventures and totally unedited because, well, I just can't do it with my phone. If nothing else, I whip my phone out, and Jack is like, you ain't bringing out that damn phone again. Some horse, other horse. Um, anyway, so it's just hard to do all that with a phone, obviously, so... GoPro, the prices have come way down. Um, so, yeah, that should be fun. And um, I'm going to go now, and I will be back with a reading of Remy's Roundup. Namaste. Have a good one. Love you guys.